Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to some more <coughs> Magic the Gathering, playing some more Popper. Uh, we're going to play this exact same Infect list again. I had a, such a great time playing it last time. I just want to play it again. Um, let's just jump into some games. I mean, there's really not much more to say about it. It's, uh, it's a fun list. It really is. But might be in the queues for a minute. If we get through these five games pretty quick, uh, I might stream some 8-Rack for this. I might. I might. We'll see how this goes. Like I said, if we get through this kind of quick, then um, I will probably stream to Mate Rack. But yeah, I mean, it's a oh, it's the same list as last time. No differences. We're not on the play, which sucks. Uh. Turn two, Blythe Mamba holding up protection. Keep it. And we can double Rancor at the following turn. What is in Chasm? And we don't see that land. Eugenic growth. Interesting. Hickory Woodlot's an awesome card. I also noticed the artwork's not as dark and weird looking as it was the other day. Green and green black. We have snakes. I probably snakes can fail it over Finds of Vastwood. And we have Groundswell. Love to draw a card next. A land, I mean. Probably an untapped land would be awesome. Also, I need to quit yielding through turn because we have protection spells. So a good way to get blown out because we have pretty much lethal on hand. Oh, the mirror. Interesting. Okay. Land. Untap. Yes. Okay, so we can four eight. We have lethal. No blocks. GG. Burn three kill. Burn three kill. Wow. <laughs> turn. Yeah, that was turn three. That was the first attack with Blight Mamba. Damn. All right. Uh, I like epic confrontation here. Really? Probably all that I like. Probably going to go down the Apostle's Blessing and bring in the other Snakeskin Veil. Uh, we could go down... Go down one ground swell. Maybe one rancor. So I'm not really going to be blocking that much. Maybe we want to keep ground swell. Go down one of the massive mites. Do that. I don't know. We have a. This is a. I guess it's like is the Golgari better than the mono green? You know what I mean? Like with that matchup. We have everything we want. We just have weird lands. Lands that I'm honestly not too crazy about. I'm going to keep it. We're on the draw. I'm going to keep it. Just not crazy about the lands we have. No turn one.
So I'm just trying to think. It's like we go tran tranquil quick uh, thicket this turn. We can play Lanawar Augur next turn, then Hickory Woodlot. Play Hickory Woodlot. We can play Icker Blythe Mamba. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the right plan there to lead is. These tranquil thickets I'm not crazy on. I kind of wish they were just regular forests. I get their point, though. Yeah, I get why they're in the deck. I just... They've, they've seemed to be more of a nuisance than they have anything else. Um, well, that's that was really, really good. Let's... Throw down Icker Claw. And I'm actually thinking I'm going to throw Llanowar Augur down to block the Blight Mamba with. That's my game plan. We definitely don't let them attack without blocking, that's for sure. I just wonder, yeah, is, does the Golgari infect better suited than the... I wonder what they would run in the Golgari. I wonder if Goldfish has a Golgari list on there. Okay. Suffocating fumes would be a good one. And core. Throw down the Blythe Mamba. Hold up uh, Vines of Vasswood. I see if the Tranquil Thicket was a force, I would have held it in hand for Groundswell. But I kind of need it. Copper, like the top two lists or affinity list. Back. Ooh, they get a flyer. I see Simic, but I don't see any. I see a few Simic lists, but I don't see any uh, Golgari list. Goldfish. You're gonna give it the Rancor as well. So Blighted Agent is a uh, common? Interesting. I didn't know that. Distortion Strike. Other than that, it's pretty much the same thing. There are like some differences, but pretty much they're the same thing. Get a trampler of our own here. I don't know if we're dead or not. <laughs> like I said, this is a weird matchup. See seal strength being a good card, that's for sure. I don't like they're only playing 12 lands. Really? Doesn't seem very good. <laughs> There's a thing called Briar Shield that's basically the same thing as Lana War Augur. Uh, if we live through this turn, <laughs> which feels unlikely, Can't block it. Okay. Didn't get me. Can we get them this turn? Land off the top, probably. Nope. 
Oh, we should have sacked Augur. All right, we're dead. We're dead in the air. From the back. Yeah, I didn't know Blighted Agent though was a uh, was a common kind of cool. I don't think I'd play the uh, Mimic version though. Just from well looking at this list, I probably wouldn't. Uh, I would like to play first. All the lands in the world. One Glistener Elf, one Lanor Augur. We could cycle this though. We just don't have a lot of pumps. I think we mulligan this. Uh, keep this. Bottom. Probably the groundswell. Weird as that is to say. Lead on Tranquil Thicket. My thing is, like, by the time we have to play our two lands to play Iron. Uh, I uh, Ick or Claw Mirror. So my thought process is like, well, if we don't draw another land, it's just a two-two, and Mutagenic Growth, Rancor, Snakeskin Veil are just better. In that aspect, well, they mulligan to four. <laughs> I was not expecting the mirror match out of the gate. I say yeah, there's probably better black copper stuff for. A Golgari list than there would be for a uh, Simic list. Well, Simic's the modern color in fact, so I get why people want to at least try it. No Glistener Elf is good. No Cast Down. <laughs> Cast down. Would really like to draw vines of vastwood or something. I mean, we have snakeskin veil, blithe mamba. Throw down lanawar auger. Let's do this. We're going to sack Lana War Augur. Our upkeep. They play Suffocating Fumes. We just fire off the Snakeskin Veil. Half wrong. Okay, Blythe Mamba. Sure. When they have just a handful of uh, mutagen growth. Probably gonna fire off the snakeskin veil at their end step. Just in case we draw something we can actually play. Well, it counts. Can we get there? Gets plus two, plus two. Groundswell.
Eugenic growth. Got there. <laughs> we beat the mirror match. <laughs> we got there with the mirror match. I will say this with Popper. The TPQs are always... There's always quite a bit of people in here. As opposed to the leagues. We lost the dice roll again. Oh. Definitely a mulligan here. Um. What's going on bottom here? Groundswell, maybe? We have two of them. I mean, it sucks, but I'd rather have two infect creatures in case they have. You know? Rift Bolt, we're playing against Burn. Oh boy. Regretting. Regretting that ground, sw ground swell bottom now. We're going to play Icar Claw next turn. Hold up Snakeskin Veil. Rift Bolt our face. We're not doing anything. Another rift bolt. Get a glistener. We could just play both Icker Claw and Glistener Elf. But I kind of like holding snakes to fail, so let's just play the Icker Claw. They want to waste two burn spells on killing this thing. I'm fine with it. Turn off auto yields because they might have gut shot or something. That's what the question becomes is like, do they race us? You know what I mean? Well, let's make them waste two. They didn't waste two burn spells and we burned that rift bolt. So I'll take it. And they just scoop it. All right. <laughs> My guess is they just, they probably just like whatever. Uh, let's bring in all of our life gain. Go down the ground swells. And let's go down a, actually, let's go down the mutagenic growths. Uh, bring in the Apostle's Blessing and leave it. Bring in Spider Umbra. Right like that. You definitely want the life gain. That's for sure. Especially when we play a ton of pump spells. Uh, ugh. I mean, we do have Rancor, I mean, Glistener Elf, but we don't have, we don't have a second, if we had a second land in our hand, this would be an instant. I'm going to keep it, we're on the draw, might be a risky keep. Land. Searing Blaze would be kind of a here. Thermo Alchemist. Fine with that. Land. Come on, land. You know you want to give me a land.
There was an argument for leaving up Apostle's Blessing here, but we have another glistener. Gonna yield through. Needle drop. Target. Thermo Alchemist is. They might just. They're, I think they're just trying to race us here. We draw a second land. I really don't feel much better about ourselves, especially because they just skewered our poor little glistener. Land. Not a very good land. Ah, uh, suck. Why would you bring in Molten Rain against me? I guess for that exact reason. Finds a fast wood we can't kick. They're probably going to get us. They are starting to run a little low on cards, but... Probably dead. That was actually probably pretty good for us. Oh, there's that thing. Come on, land. Need a land. Land, please, so we can kick vines of asswood. <sighs> sure. We're trying. We are trying. Rift Bolt. Bolting our face. Puts us in Lightning Bolt range. A little late to the party there. They have three points of damage on board. Dead. All right, let's go to uh, game three here. Maybe mulligan until we have more than one land. <gasps> I don't think we want anything else. It's an argument for Return to Nature, but I think they only play two or three of those to the Cursed Heart or whatever. And Molten Rain was pretty good for our opponent. We did draw a land and one that would have been very good for us. They happen to have the perfect answer. <laughs> like, literally the perfect answer for it. Which, uh, which was rough. My phone. I would indeed like to go first. This is one of those hands like... You know what I mean? Oh, God. Not like this deck. Not like this. Maybe I should just kept that opening hand.
We have the Pulse of Marassa in hand, so if we draw land number two. We can draw land number two. We can pull some Arasa of the Hickory Wood lot back to hand. Which wouldn't be so... Oh, that's annoying. That's probably going to win them the game right there. Huh. I always forget this card exists. Don't think we beat that card. Fossil's Blessing doesn't work. Maybe it does. Easy beats. Opponents on the ultra aggressive route here. Come on, land. Watch this pro play here. Aha! Gotcha. <laughs> Let's just go to a different game. You just kept the opening hand. You just kept that opening hand. Oh well, what are you gonna do? What's you gonna do? I wanna play this at some point. This list. <clears throat> I think it looks fun. Maybe we'll play that next week at some point. I still wanna try out Bogles. I still wanna work on this deck. This deck was really fun the one time I played it. I've just come to learn I really like Popper. Modern is modern. I'm going to play Hardened Skills. Or Ad Nauseam. I have most Ad Nauseam already. With the Rack. Love that deck. Out, rack it out, you know what I mean? I'm playing blue, red, red. Our opponent from last match. Do we just play them again? Play them again. They're on the burn route, which is fine. I mean, I, I just had no land like last game. Much like this hand. Wow, we. One, two, three. They begin with seven in hand.
Yeah, bad rolls, man. Oh, bad rolls. Oh, there goes the roof bolt. I'm gonna leave this blight mamba in hand until we have protection for it. Ninety nine percent sure we lose this game one. I think anytime you mulligan four with a deck that relies on heavy amount of pump spells is probably a death sentence. Three wood lot. Didn't try to bolt it, which is nice. Cycles Forgotten Cave. Plus on that game three was under Martyr of Ashes, which is probably the worst card for our deck to play against. Throw a Groundswell off the top, that'd be so Kinds of vast wood. I would just leave that in hand. So next turn. We can just regenerate Blythe Mamba right now. Love the artwork on that card. So brutal looking. Uh, Chain Lightning. Regenerate it. Does this still work? Fuck it. Just in, say, and just in case. That doesn't die either. So there's there's that, I guess. They just wasted some massive burn spells on it. Come on, something good. Not a land, something good. Something good. Something good. It's crazy to me some of those burn spells that are common. Basically, all the good burn spells are common, which is just absurd to me. <laughs> like, this is not far off of the modern burn deck. What's in the modern burn deck that's not even... You know? It's not even... Uh... Well, there's Goblin... Okay, this is one that's playing, like, Swift Spear and stuff. Yeah, like Boros Charm, Lightning Helix. That's it. That's literally like it when it comes to burn spells. It's all creatures they're playing that are different. Come on, baby. Best. Nice thing is they did eat a couple of their mountains for that greedy fire blast. Oh, Spike. Yep. Oh, Spike's only to play or Planeswalker. I didn't know that. Spin in the Rift Bolt. Groundswell. Oh, I don't need Groundswell at this point. Just something. Something big. Some big Haymaker card. Rancor would be alright. Another Vines of Vassal would be killer. Literally, probably. Yeah, Vines of Asswood would end out the game. 
We'll probably draw another two drop infector though. Oh my luck. Mutagenic growth. No, we're not paying life for mutagenic growth. Let go to nine infect here. Rift bolt coming off the suspend, probably to face. They probably have the win still. No oh, lava mancer. Ain't gonna quite do it. I guess it has haste out on it. Dang. And then they just bolt us for game. Wow. Particularly good set of cards for our opponent. Okay. Pulse of Marassa, Weather the Storm. Let's just bring in these two. Take out the Mutagenic Growths. And I'm actually just going to take out the Apostle's Blessing. I really don't want to be using Phyrexian mana at all in this matchup. This is a good hand. Uh, probably just lead on Glistener Elf. I don't know. We just lead on Glistener Elf and then hold up the rest of our hands. Burn just feels like it's just a race matchup with us. It doesn't feel that great of a matchup. Because they can easily kill off our little dorky guys and then we're in trouble. Yeah, I'm going to go turn one, Glistener Elf, turn two, hold it up. I don't think there's a real good reason to play Iker Claw Mirror right out the gate. It's probably not a good reason to play Glistener Elf off the top either, right out the gate. Might have been better to play it next turn while I can snakeskin veil it. I'm just thinking race aspect. Where's that guy? Good news, we can kill that Lava Runner next turn. <clears throat> Our opponent must be busy. All right. Triple snakeskin veil. Does he block? Kill that thing. First of the Pierce Heart. Life Mamba. <sighs> and we just hold up the Snakeskin Veil or Weather the Storm. See what our opponent's gonna do. Another pierced heart. Sure. I 
I'll fire one of these off now to just pump our creature and utilize our mana a little better. Pretty good. I wish we'd draw a land though. Be real nice. Go three three infector. Potentially a four four. They don't do something about this. Four, four. Bends the rift bolt. Sure, I'm not firing off the the other skate. Oh, that was a good draw. I have no reason to play Black Mamba or, or Icker Claw currently. Wait for whatever our opponent's going to do. They're going after Glistener Elf, so they're going to try to kill it this turn. We will uh, weather the storm at the end of the step here. Order of Ashes. Wicked Annoying. Sure. Uh, I'd like to draw an untap land. Yeah, untap land would be nice because it will blank harder because we'll have regenerate with Blight Mamba. I mean, we're, we're really close. Them having a million burn spells, though. That's what I mean. Like, I just don't think this is probably the best matchup you want to see because they can just spend their burn stuff on your creatures and then you're kind of done for. But also, this card. This card's super annoying. Ugh. Burn, the one archetype that's good in every format, just about. I don't know how Legacy Burn is anymore. It's not on the front page. Standard. I used to like standard. Pioneer is a format I've, I'm curious about trying out. There's a there's a mono red deck in uh, Pioneer. Yeah, I'd be I'd be willing to try out Pioneer at some point. Vintage Dredge is the second top vintage deck. Vintage is like an online only format, right? It's like no way people play this in real life. Bizarre Bad Dags, a dollar twenty eight. But it's seventeen thousand dollars in paper plus for a playset. Find doesn't save it from murder. Throw down Icker Claw. Throw Icker Claw to the fire. Literally and figuratively. Aw, 
Awesome. And he just had another martyr? Are you freaking serious? Well, we came back for rematch. We were taught what's what. Needle drop goes really good with skewer, don't it? You can just needle drop and then skewer them. I don't know why I did that. What I'd like for them to do Lava Spike, sure. It's for them to like <coughs> oh. excuse me. Empty their hand. And then I just play whether the Playing around weather pretty well, aren't they? So we know they have a skewer in hand. We draw an untap land. I'm playing Blight Maw. Really need that untap land. Or they could be saving up for Martyr to kill Lamp Frogger. $95,000 is how much Blue Tinker costs. Why? Show you in a minute. We can run out Icker Claw. Uh, <laughs> because of this. First off, Ancestral Recall costs that much. Oh, that's not the card I th I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of the, the, the uh, suspend card. Time walk. Black Lotus. Mox Emerald. Has all the power nine shit. It's absurd to me. Magic cards cost way too much. Searing Blaze. My reasoning is it makes them sack murder. They want to kill this or use up a different burn spell. This is what my argument, at least my thought process. Aha! Can't be targeted. Back Martyr. Okay, cool. I mean, I care in the sense I lost Vines of Vastwood, but at the same time, like, you know what I mean? We can draw a freaking land. That wasn't... Probably gonna fire off Weather the Storm. Here, just gain some. They didn't do it on their turn. That's good. I think Skewer, though, is a sorcerer. I don't think it's a speed. Could be wrong, though. It is. Pain Lightning, our face.
Wow, that's rude. All right, yeah, now our opponent just probably more than likely. We need a Pulse of Marassa in the next couple turns. We need to pull some Marassa like this turn. Oh, I'm pulling some Marassa. Rancor. I mean, we're dead. Yep, we're dead. Well, 0-2 against Burn today. Burn does not feel like a good matchup. That's for sure. Not feel like a very good matchup. I would like to go first. I would like to keep this hand. Like, do I want to lead on Blight Mamba or Glistener Elf? Lead on Glistener Elf. We could Glistener Elf and Groundswell. Glistener Elf turn two. Then I actually like kind of throwing down Kalani Garden depending on when our opponent plays. Don't play Burn again. I've noticed Burn's been super popular in the EP use. It's some kind of gruel, probably. The Blight Mob. Kind of cool. Do a 5 5. Keyword there is kind of, though. Like draw some pump spells here. Yep. Icker claw. When they have main deck fiery cannonade, right? They have like triple bolt. Burning tree, yep. Burning tree brings down another burning tree. Oh, God. Not this. <sighs> oh, some kind of pump spell. I do feel like we've had some bad draws today. That's for sure. I do really like this deck though, the Infect deck. I'd put it up there. I don't know if I I don't like it quite as much as like the Jun Wildfire or Mono Black Sack, but I'd still put it up there as liking it quite a bit. <sighs> Quit killing my shit with lightning bolts.
eat one of their things. No, I do like this infect deck a lot, though. Pretty sweet. Okay. Aeromorphic Expanse is basically Evolving Wild, right? Like, I'm not entirely sure what that card does. Pump Spell. Some kind. Pump Spell. I'm going to attack with both, both uh, Blight Mambas. with and regenerate it what do I had some bad draws this matchup though for sure What rarities become immense? Uncommon. Like. Boo. Huh. Quit playing stuff. We gotta get through this line. These are the kind of decks I think this deck is really bad against because you can't get through them very easily. Okay. Yeah, our opponent uh opponent's probably gonna win. We can't get through this. There's no way. Alright, sideboard time. GZ Pete's our opponent has every single critter. Uh confrontation. Spider Umbra. Go down. Fossil's Blessing could be a way for us to get in. Kind of like Apostle's Blessing. The, let's just bring in one extra potential way to get in. Uh, Groundswell. Groundswell even feels good in this matchup. Uh. I don't know what to do here. There's a good argument for Llanowar Augur because it gives you trample. 
mutagenic growth, just a nice quick gotcha. I don't know. It's a hard one. Snake can, snake skin veil is probably the weakest. Maybe we'll make shave a rain, a couple rain. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to have sideboard for this matchup. This was when I when I first looked at this deck, my first thought was any like big like not big creatures, but any like creaturey base deck is gonna be so hard for this deck to get through. And that first matchup felt pretty right on the nose to my original suspicions. Good news they probably don't bring in uh fiery cannonade. <laughs> Um, I'm just throwing down Listener Elf here. Hit them for six, seven next turn. Can have the, the double burning tree. Also, yeah, just having double burning tree in a stuff is just good on its own. Burning Tree Emissary is such a good card. They have the double Burning Tree again. Get out of here. I was like, if you have the triple, I'm going to lose my shit. Both both uh both games turn to double trimming uh burning tree into stuff. Pretty rough. There are opponent blocks here. Three, one, three, seven, four. They throw thermochemist under this one. I'm not going to pump it. Oh, that's rude. Did... Our opponent is really not sure how to block here. I think the correct way is probably throw them both under the bus. They do it this way. I'm going to ground swell this one. It'll be three. That'd be seven. Five comes over. Six. One comes over. Puts seven. But. We get to keep our two and they lose two. And they go to seven. And we still have Rancor in hand. No more burning. All right, we get that one. Run it back. That was kind of my argument for siding out those two Rancors. Is like, if we didn't have a pump spell, we would have just lost. 
Not crazy on this hand. Draw another land. Second land, and draw a second infector at some point. I'll be very happy. The good news is, is Glister Elf will survive lightning bolts. Are they going to have the double burning tree turn two again? I guess they did it turn three last time because they played two tap land. Still, it's kind of absurd, right? Uh, if we draw a land, we can kill them next turn, potentially. I think we can. If we draw a land, I think we win. Untap land. Come on, baby. You can do it. Untap land. Untap land. Mm. We had untapped lane, we could have ground swelled. Convoke is super annoying. Cool looking card. That's a really annoying uh, mechanic. I don't think I yielded through turn. No blocks? Trust you. More convoke stuff. Card's wicked annoying. <laughs> Just convoking. Land. Can we get a land off the top? Untap land for the win. Come on, untap land. Ugh. They not block. No, oh, interesting. I I gotta admit though, this opponent's deck like convokes annoying, but it's it's cool. I've never seen a deck like this before. I'm going to tell him that. I think it is. Like, I've never really seen a deck like it before. It's annoying, as in it's like thumping our face, but still pretty cool. Untap land still will win us the game. Tap land, baby. Like we. Um, I don't know if it actually kills them or not. I think it's going to be pretty close. Let's 
seven. They take five. Yeah, this will kill them. Really? Wow. Our opponent. We do have Apostle's Blessing for the kill, though, next turn. I mean, that is if this Glistener Elf lives, which... Yep. Unlikely. Their deck's pretty cool, but it's also... A... Untapped land, so we keep up Apostle's Blessing. Ugh. Which is plus two plus two three three make it a five five kill off both her. Opponent, lightning bolt, making against it. <laughs> I get to sign. I'll convoke. That card's pretty much sealing the deal on our fate here. We got so close, but we just couldn't get there. Honestly, that Glistener Elf, we shouldn't have pumped like we did. We probably should have... Well, to be fair, we thought we had the win, but we should have known better. Um. Blythe Mamba. I do like our opponent's deck is pretty cool. Uh, they have a pump spell. They have a pump spell. It is what it is. Yeah, they have something to kill us here. That's fine. Uh, 
Yep, we're dead. All right. Is what it is. Go into game five. Currently 1-3 with Infect. We went 3-2 last time with it. And two of our losses was burn. So. It is what it is. I don't feel too bad about it. I really don't care about losing that much in TPQs. I do when you have money on the line. Which is why I don't play. Uh leagues very often got a lot of spare money spare money I do have I spend elsewhere so I'd rather just play games like I got the deck rental so I can play different decks so I'd rather just play games than I would actually like have money on the line I mean it's nice when you win and you get prizes but then you know when you're broke <laughs> you know what I mean and then you just you lose and you're out ten dollars it really fucking stings But uh, yeah, I like this deck a lot, though. Our our matchups we lost against was a Clumvoke creature deck, which was pretty cool. Um, feels bad. Like, that doesn't feel like a good matchup. It feels like it's hard for us to get through stuff. Like, uh, like when they play a lot of creatures. And then we lost two to Burn. Same Burn guy, by the way. And uh, Burn person, I should say. Um... Burn doesn't feel like that good of a matchup, despite our sideboard saying probably otherwise. Although, one game we were really close. I think we took them... The first matchup, I think we took them game two. Or game one, and we lost the other two. And then the second matchup, we were doing decent. Probably misplayed. Is something uh, I'm, I'm quite uh, common with. Ugh. I also feel like we've had some bad draws. Uh, I'm going to keep this. This isn't that awful of a hand. Probably bottom one of the massive mites. Like leading on Augur here into Icarcall. We don't have any good protection spells though. Which sucks. They mulligan five though. Affinity, this is probably a bad matchup. Because of Gal Blasts and shit. Finds a Masswood. I'd like to draw a third land, though, to really make this Groundswell something worthwhile. Still Citadel. What I wanted. We potentially have the kill next turn. Depending on what our opponent does. We could also just have cast down. Would be annoying. I'm gonna pump like a, a fake immunogenic growth here. They play uh Mirror Enforcer, though, it's gonna be pretty annoying. Hopefully, if they get another land, they play a tap land. If they don't get another land, awesome. Can we kill them this turn? I believe so. Fairly certain we do. Dead. Turn three kill. Turn three is the earliest kill I've ever seen in, in Popper. This deck has done it, and then uh, I've seen. Uh, oh, what's their face? Cycle Storm. I've seen Cycle Storm do it. Not very often, but I've seen them do it. I don't think I like Apostles Blessing that much in this matchup. Protection for color.
Yeah, I don't know about Apostle's Blessing here. Epic Confrontation doesn't kill really a Tog very well. I think we're just on a race clock, aren't we? Bring in the Return to Natures. Uh, we're on a race clock. Everything we have races as well, except for Snakeskin Veil. Which I want to keep because of... I kind of like Spider Umbra. I don't know if I really like it that much. Bring in the Return to Nature. And let's just go down a uh, one auger here. I don't know. I have a second land. We don't have an infect creature. Free them to the bottom, eh? Don't know if any of that is right. That's what I mean. I feel like we've had some really awful draws. And we just draw that thing back again. I feel like we've had some awful hands, though, out of these five matches. I mean, we're only playing 12 infectors, you know what I mean? Wellspring. This health. We get blown out for this, but I mean, we mulligan to four, so. You know what I mean? It's like one of those things, like, yeah, we could get blown out for this, but we also mulligan to four, so. It is what it is. Bot cast. See, that's like, so that's my argument always with the uh, bans for Popper. Like, if you ban a Tog, you still have a really good affinity deck that's probably still going to be top tier. It's like a Tog just makes this deck feel unfair and cheaty. I'll blast my poor mirror away. They did nothing but love you. Uh, I'm going to play this, and then we're just going to spend all the mana. I mean, we're going to lose that Hippie Wood lot anyway. We're not in good shape, though. I mean, we did Mulligan to four. I feel like if you mulligan past five in this deck, you're just dead. The one game we surprisingly came back a little bit from it. We ended up not winning, but we still put a lot of infect damage on the board. Ah, uh, Gal Blast. Gal Blast. Why'd you sideboard out Snakeskinville? I don't know. Hey, I feel leave my mom below. Just a poor little snake hanging out and doing sneaky things. Ain't hurt nobody. Well, there's the Atog. 
basically solidifying we're not fighting through this ever again. Like, do we have anything that can get through this? And there's Disciple. Yeah, we're pretty well wrapped up here. Snakeskin Veil. They have to block. And they just let it die. Not what I was expecting. I wasn't reading that properly, or I would have did sneaks. We could just have another one here. We're on the play. I'm just not even going to bring in the return to natures. Honestly, I'm just going to side those out and bring back in all the pump stuff. We're on a race clock here. I mean, we're dead from here, of course. Here. We can't get around that. All right. So return to nature's out. Bring back Lantern War Augur. Bring, uh, I don't think I want the Apostle's Blessing. though. So let's bring in two return of nature's. Oh, I want the other snakeskin veil, I think. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. That. Would like to go first. I would like to keep this hand, actually. Listener Elf, turn one, turn two, play Hickory. Leave up uh, Vines of Asswood or Snakeskin. If we have Mutagen or Growth, we could outgrow. Uh, Gal Blast on turn one. I would like to draw a third land for uh, Groundswell. I guess they could have Gut Shot. Probably. Ugh. Tranquil Thicket. Our third land. Like I said, I'm going to leave up uh, Snakeskin Veil here. I'm probably actually just going to Mutagenic Growth here. Honestly. That puts him at three... More than likely, they don't play a creature this turn. It's basically either kill Glistener Elf or die. Make ship munition. Sure. Oh, we draw better land. Dead? Haha, <laughs> we took out infinity. Nice. Double turn three kills. So that was another look at Infect uh, and Popper. So I am 5-5 five, five overall at the deck. Eh, probably about average for me, 50% win rate. Um, 
This deck's fun. I really enjoy playing this deck a lot. I like this deck quite a bit. Uh, it's one of my more favorite popper decks I've played uh, along the lines of like Jun Wildfire or Mono Black Sack. I would put Infect or Goblins. Uh, I would put Infect right in there. I really enjoy playing this deck. It's really fun. Uh, it's, I mean, the three matches we lost against, two were Burn. One was this like Gruul Convoke creature deck, which was kind of wild. Whiskey Fool, yes, very strong hand. Um, th that's what like okay. So today was weird because we had multiple turn three kills today, but we had like we had hands where we mulligan to like four. We had hands where we didn't really do anything. We had some really bad hands today, but we had multiple hands where we killed them on turn three. We had some crazy fast blitzing hands right out the gate. So it's it's kind of weird because it's like. Yeah, that kind of sucks because uh, we had a mulligan. There's definitely some like differences in hands, but uh, there was also moments where we just had the absolute nutsoid draw here. Um, but yeah, I really, really, uh, really enjoy Infect. Um, this is just for YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, there will be another video coming. But uh, I'm going to play 8-Rack now. We're going to stream a little bit longer today. Uh, yeah, I'll show the goblin deck. Uh, this is the one that I played a few weeks ago. I went 3-2 in a league, and I went 5-0 in TP tournaments with it, and I've not played it since, but I will play it again at some point. Uh, I haven't, like, looked to update anything. Um, and I have not tried out Reckless Impulse. I replaced, I had Skirt, uh, Prospector in here instead of Reckless Impulse, and then I actually changed out Skirt Prospector for Reckless Impulse, and I haven't tried that out yet. So I'm waiting to see uh, how it works out. But uh, Reckless Impulse seems like a big upgrade to Skirt Protector, in my opinion, Prospector. But uh, yeah, so is Infect. We're going to play some uh, modern 8-rack. And I'm going to do like a video transition thing for YouTube. So uh, this is for YouTube. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you later. Peace.